one finger on the steering wheel. What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. And today we found a very rare 2005 Monaco Signature. This coach has the Detroit Diesel Series 60 and back in 2005, this was it. This Doug, was it. how you doing today, sir? Living the dream, buddy. Like I always say, living the dream. What a find you have for us today. I'm a huge fan of these older Monacos built in Oregon. A ton of heavy duty equipment on this yep. coach. Uh, this coach was close to 700 grand new back in 05. Mid, depending on how you option it out, Andrew, this thing was mid, mid to upper $600,000 range and chock full of just, just, it, the, the options list is endless. Yeah. It's huge. I love the exterior paint scheme on this with the creams and grays. Just a stunning exterior. And this paint is in excellent condition. Uh, you were telling me this is a two owner coach. What's the story? Two owner coach. If you remember, Andrew, we did that uh, H345 Marathon coach. Yes, sir. There was a consignment. The gentleman drove this coach from Washington State to us to trade for that H345 Marathon. And I'll tell you, he owned it for the last eight years, took excellent care of it, and I just, just drove it out here from Washington. Drove right? it straight here from Washington. He loves this marathon, and you can really tell by the pride of ownership in this coach. I got service records in there of the just, he kept it stored inside. And really, you know, everybody worries about paint checking on these coaches, and you don't have to worry about that on this coach, Andrew. The hair underneath the windshield, just a little bit underneath the windshield. Uh, outside of that, this coach is in beautiful shape with just a little bit over 76,000 miles you're going to find it to be an amazing specimen of a, a, a motor coach. Yeah, absolutely. And especially with the Detroit Diesel Series 60, what all other equipment, what kind of a generator does this have? What all is going this on? It's going to have your Big Daddy generator to be a 12.5 generator, has aqua hot, it has uh, three roof airs with heat pumps, Andrew. What about the diesel fuel carrying capacity? 150 gallons diesel fuel, 100 gallon fresh. You got a 70 gallon gray water and a 40 gallon uh, black water tank. Yeah, and this coach was way ahead of its time. Has a lot of little stuff that I want to point out, like the the Eaton Vorad, uh, the Eaton, yeah, the Vorad uh, lane detection, lane so departure. Not only does it have the lane detection, but it also is a, an adaptive cruise control system too. So it'll it'll keep that same distance between you and the vehicle in front of you, and it'll it'll flip that cruise off whenever you get too close. This is on the Roadmaster chassis. The cool thing about this is this coach has ten airbags. You want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. So every every corner is going to have airbags. So not only the the four corners but also the inner quarters of your tag axle and your drive axle are all you can see actually right yeah. here it's going to have these massive airbags uh one if you notice here one here one there so it really gives you yeah. that stability driving down the road and you can tell driving this coach compared to almost any other coach on the road andrew with the exception of maybe a prevo but with, with the detroit 60 in here and the allison 4000 transmission this coach is a beast on the road. I was actually looking up some old Roadmaster videos and the, the folks from Roadmaster basically said the way the airbags are on other coaches are more like a canoe and this is going to be more like a, a pontoon boat. So Doug, you think I could test drive this later and I, take the folks on a I, test drive? I can't wait to let you test drive this coach because I think you're going to see that the stability this coach has is unlike anything I've ever driven in a fiberglass or production style coach. It's amazing. Yeah, and you've got a price to what, $169,995? You can buy this coach for one, under book value at $169,95 with fresh service just completed. Uh, we've serviced quite a few items on this coach, actually almost six to the tune of $6,000 worth of services just done. It just went through a full uh, uh, paint correction uh, and buff and, and wax on the coach. It's got fresh tires on, you know, uh, newer tires, less than two years old. This coach is ready to go. How many miles are on this coach? 76,000 miles, date code, late 2019 date codes on the tires. Uh, batteries are, are on the fresher side uh, and just a, just a very, very nice coach. Even with the slides out, uh, this coach is very easy to access all of your trays, all of your, your, uh, your bays. Oh yeah, look how clean they are too. This is a manual bay and this is all just so heavy duty the way this was built. 
You do have a little light here in your bay as well on both sides. And then look at the thickness of this bay door. I mean, you do not, you don't see that anymore. All that thickness and, you know, a lot of coaches now, I mean, they, they, they screw the doors in. These are, I mean, these are bolted doors. Oh yeah, look at that. Heavy duty, thick quarter inch uh angle iron with gussets i mean if you look here they're they're building they took the time to put gussets in their angle iron for their doors i think you could put all your weight on it i don't want to try but i know uh, other folks have had me put put their weight on it now this has an automatic slide tray super through. clean too look how heavy duty that is i mean that is just some even the the tray has crossbars i've never seen that this is a very well built coach I don't get excited about too many, but this is something that's just RV history and they don't make them like they used to. Another thing to point out too, your massive fuel tank, a 150 gallon uh, fuel tank runs in the center of the coach equally across the side. So not just in the front, weighing down the extra weight on the front, they put it right in the middle of the coach to help with that weight distribution for your 150 gallon. Not only your f diesel fuel tank is here, but you got your propane cylinder too that runs along the middle of the coach. Another full pass through uh, bay, giving this coach probably some of the biggest storage, um, you know, of, of any coach in this era. Absolutely, and then lights in every bay and. Look at the size of that bay door there. I'm... I mean, that door's uh, over four feet tall. Yeah, that's almost like an H3 size. Yep. And look at a nice aqua hot system in there. Really all clean and in good shape. Yeah, you said 100 gallon fresh water carrying capacity. Fresh, 70 gray, 40 black. This is a quad slide coach. Back in 2005, there was not very many folks doing quad slide coaches. One thing I do want to point out, you know how I am, Andrew. Yeah. I'm, I'm all about open and honesty and transparency. Uh, this isn't something that I'm going to fix. I'm going to sell the coach. I'm, you know, we're pricing it under book value, but just a little bit of scratches and, and stuff here. Looks like the gentleman uh, backed into something there. In his, I think he said he backed in something in his garage. Yeah, just barely caught something. No big deal. But, but I am looking, you know, at the close up. Of all the dark colors, this is where you're going to see the paint checking and fresh coat of wax on it. I'm not seeing any checking. Maybe a tiny bit up there to be fully transparent, but very, very hard to see that. The money shot. Yes, sir. It's the money shot. Detroit Diesel Series 60. This is the this is the one they all want, Andrew. This is the. Of course, you know I don't have to tell you. I just bought one. <laughs> this is this is the motor for motorhomes. If you had to choose a motor to put in a motorhome, I think anybody who knows anything about motorhomes would choose the Detroit 60. Absolutely, absolutely. Side radiator coach. And I just, I love the, the design of this color scheme too. It almost looks like the Roadmaster logo. I don't know, I see some of that. Just a cool look. Kind of very similar to an H345. The yeah. These doors raise. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had a chance to go through here and, and detail this coach underneath the bays yet, but that is uh, that is forthcoming. Hey, you got an outside spigot. What's all going on in your plumbing bay here? So Looks like a manifold your, system they, back they there. They called it a mana block uh, system. So yeah. basically it's your, your manifold cut, water cut off. And what that does, Andrew, is it allows you to cut off hot or cold to pretty much any, well, not pretty much, to any faucet or any water source inside the coach. If you have an issue with your, say your your bedroom sink and your hot water line is leaking, you can come out here and find the appropriate line and you can cut the water off to that particular, uh, the, well you don't have to cut the water off to the entire coach and have your trip interrupted. Yeah, and you do have a, a power 50 amp cord reel as well as a power hose reel as well. And yeah, this is a lot of equipment. Here's an outlet in your plumbing bay, tank level sensors in your plumbing bay, you have a water pump and light. You've got a Sanicon system. There's the other side of that pass-through storage. The other side of your fuel tank. Like I said, it was it goes from one end to the other. Yeah, so you could fill up your diesel fuel on both sides. Yep. And then it also, too, if you don't want to open up the full basement door, there is this little door that you can open up and just fuel directly without having to open that up at the pump. The other side of that 
pass-through bay with a full slide-out tray. Like what they did here, giving you some options for taller storage on this side. Yeah. So that tra that tray doesn't come all the way through here. So if you wanted to put a, add a toolbox or, you know, some items that need to be a little bit taller here, you have that option. Yes, sir. Thing to notice, or well, another thing that this coach doesn't have is any windows that are foggy. So that's a huge deal. Oh yeah. You can tell that this coach was stored inside. Uh, even though it's an 05, it's not perfect, okay? It's it's not, you're never going to find an 05 that's A1 perfect from front to back, especially with 76,000 miles. But what you are going to find with this coach is you're going to find it to be in A1 shape mechanically. And you can go traveling in this coach right now and, and not have to spend any money to get you going down the road. As you're talking about that, I'm catching the condition of these headlights. That plastic is super clear. So there's that 12.5 own end only 1200 hours which is good because they have used it some but it's not like a nascar coach that's yep. seven thousand hours on the generator Give it a fire here. yeah fired right up Boom. before you put this coach to market because i remember you told me you took this in on trade on that marathon a month yep. or two ago yep. what all do you do to these coaches before they go on the market so this one i mean typically we're going to service most of our coaches here on location this coach happened to be at east tennessee the customer bought a uh, a consignment coach that i had the opportunity to sell he was going to bring his trade in to east tennessee luxury coach so while it was there i had jeff do a full inspection on the coach and you know we fixed everything we found if you'll notice some yellow tape there we had a little weather, little window strip here that was starting to come loose, so we did a, a little bit of a, you know, re, re application of the window strip. Uh huh. Uh, but we did a full inspection on the coach. We had some issues with the aqua hot system that we repaired. We did a full coolant uh, change out, or, you know, transmission service, oil change, all the filters, uh, and we did fix a few little things on the inside. No bit, you know, things that are knick knacky stuff. No big deal. Yeah. Well, let's take a look inside and then we're going to take it for a test drive and I've, I always get excited when I get an opportunity to drive something with a Series 60. Doug, this is huge in here. What's all going on in here, sir? I mean, this is just timeless. This is, I think you had said earlier, this is like a time off camera. I think you said Doug, this is like a time capsule. Yeah. And when you walk in this coach, it really is. It's like, and sometimes going back in a time capsule can be a bad thing, but I think this coach, you're gonna, you know, with the natural woods and the four slide outs for the price, for what you get, I mean, you can't even buy a cornerstone uh, and get this quality. And I love Integra, I'm not knocking cornerstone, but you can't even buy it a, a high-end brand new coach and get what you get in this coach. yeah the same and we're going to show everyone the slides here in a second fastest slides i've ever seen sure. and these slide outs i just caught the end of doug putting that slide out out but i want to show everyone when do you see these bedroom slides they go out like a like a race car right there <laughs> that's no squeaks no stressing Super out. smooth. You gotta see. You gotta see this. Wow. You ever seen a slide run that fast? <laughs> no, that's like a race car. Literally, I just put watched you put all the slide outs out. Like it's forty seven seconds and I it, it, under a minute all the slide outs out. That's gotta be a record for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, quick. Yes, and sir. Forty five foot coach with four slides opens up in here massively, but uh but yeah, let's check this thing out. Uh less than one minute to put all four slide outs out, but I want to give everybody a close up on a few of the things that I'm noticing. And then in a moment I'm gonna tell you something that I really don't like about this coach. But uh look at all the woodwork here and then the suede on the ceiling with the rope lighting and this is just beautiful woodwork and this coach is a driver we're going to show everyone the whole cockpit area and how it drives uh at the end of the video but th there's one thing that i re really like about this coach and one thing i don't like both have to do with the floor now look at this tile in the front entryway this is absolutely beautiful but then this carpet here i mean it's high-end carpet it's not bad i, I mean it's really not that bad, but I just think that if you put like some tobacco colored wood 
and then left all this tile. I would absolutely not change this tile. This is probably the nicest tile work I've seen in a 15 year old coach. But what what all else is going on in here, well, sir? You touched on the carpet. Yeah, I mean we're not producing the the RV market. It's not desirable to have carpet in a, in an RV nowadays. Yeah. These kind of, this type of coaches, you're going to see tile throughout. And yes, you can go through and update some tile with some wood and put some wood in here. What do you think it'd run? You got some great resources here in Kentucky. What would it run you to put new wood floors depend, in here? If you just did the front area, we're probably looking somewhere around five thousand dollars to do like a, either a, a, a decent engineered wood or maybe like a, a bamboo floor or maybe like a, a luxury vinyl tile. You know, if you wanted to add the bedroom in there, probably going to add uh, you know a couple grand to that, maybe close to ten grand to put new new and wood. You don't have if you don't, if you don't. Don't freak out about us not liking the carpet in this coach because it's clean. There's yeah. nothing oh, yeah. really wrong with it. It's just it's carpet. And I just always complain about carpet anytime I, I listen, see it. I, you know, it's it's not ideal, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, this is this coach is whew, it's a lot of equipment. So sleeping up front here, you've got opposing sofas. I definitely like the floor plan with the opposing sofas. Do these turn into sleeping at all? Yeah, or? this is gonna be a, a convertible uh, sleeper sofa here. This is not going to do anything. So, I mean, this is just basically what you see is what you get. You got some storage underneath here uh, on each side that gives you, and then you got your heaters that run through here. Definitely, if you're going to do floors, maybe you can look at updating the furniture or something like that. But, you know, you could reupholster, you can add whatever you want. You got a, a blank slate here to do whatever you wanted to do. I don't mind. I kind of like the cloth couch. I don't mind I don't, the cloth on the I don't couch mind myself. The cloth, especially with pets. I mean, you definitely don't want pets with sharp nails on leather sofas because it just does damage yeah you know but on a cloth sofa you know you can always clean you got that's what they make fabric cleaners for yeah um, but you know another thing to touch on too is these high-end blinds yeah they're all motorized uh and i'll 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 demonstrate here for you but all the shades press one up. button and these are these are the style that they put in prevos if you notice that's the same shade that goes in a prevo bus yeah and we'll put those back down so you can see you can just watch them and another thing to notice here too no foggy windows we set it outside yeah you can see inside no foggy windows here andrew yep i see some bose speakers up here hanging from the ceiling but yeah you got a tv and this is an updated samsung smart tv andrew so i mean you're not you're not gonna have to go spend a bunch of money updating your televisions and getting a smart tv in there it's ready to go for you and a the beautiful housing look at that the soccer game's going on right now you got the satellite kick in and Beautiful woodwork around the housing. Yeah, you want you, you want to watch a little soccer here? Let's do it. You got any beer? Yeah, shoot, uh, not well, not quite yet, but uh, three roof airs with heat pumps, Andrew. Aqua hot heating system. You got heated floors where it matters in the kitchen and the bathroom, uh, and it's just a just a huge, uh, huge kitchen. Yeah, area. ton storage. I mean, storage if you're in a coach. Where you're gonna partially live part of the year, you want you want storage, and this coach has no shortage of storage. Looks like you've got all the owners' manuals here. This is cool to see. 05 signature wiring diagram, wiring diagram. There's the owners' manuals, um, and you have a lot of countertop space here in your dinette area. And I actually really like these chairs. This is super high end. Uh, you do have some outlets down there. And another thing to notice too, you know, these cabinets, I mean, this is made, I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, we're yeah. talking about super solid wood from the, the hand. I mean, I don't know if that's hand scrape or machine scrape, but it is just absolutely beautiful and, and all in excellent condition. Yeah. A little extra cabinets up here too. This is kind of cool how they brought out the cabinets above your table just to utilize that space. You know, if you're sitting down right here, you don't really need that headroom and great use of that space and they, they do the same thing and pull that same thing over here and give you multi-directional cabinet doors yeah so you can really fit whatever you want like the carpet in there is all in, all in good condition yeah and this is a huge galley here a ton of countertop space and we've talked about this before you know the molded countertops where there's this little drip drip roll here so if you have a drip it's not dripping down on your countertops and what all else is going on in yeah, here brand new uh um, convection microwave and then you do have this is a propane coach so there are people were really skin 05 um you know after talking to, to reading a lot of stuff online and talking to different people there was an all-electric option available in 2005 but a lot of people in that 
in that range in that age range they're really skeptical of all you know all electric coaches and they really like propane so this coach was not optioned with the all electric package it does have propane but the only thing that runs off propane is your cooktop and your Norcold refrigerator. Yes, sir. Yep. So easy, very easy to switch this out to a residential. I don't see the need to because it works like a, a charm. It's absolutely no issues with that. And then you do have a brand new LG um, convection microwave. Yeah, check out the tile work on the backsplash there. Beautiful tile work. Uh, and then a good size sink here too. You have the dual side sinks there. And a lot of storage down below. What is this here? Like a little yep. extra, extra. Oh, <laughs> Did I just break that? No, no, it was already broken. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not good. Okay. I think I did. No, no. You sure? It was already like it, trust me. Okay. Because yeah, it won't latch. Okay. It's made to latch like it. Oh, it is latching now. You actually fixed it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Send you, send uh, no, that, no, 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 no. That latch needs to be fixed, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at the drawers. I mean, this is something you'd see in like a new wool coach with the dividers uh, and then when you open and close these drawers you can just tell this is yeah, high so quality I really like these little pull out trays yeah and again things like this are what make a coach livable in my opinion anybody can to build a coach and, and put four walls up and, and put slides in but it's the tension to detail and the things that make living in a coach much easier are what excite me yeah and little things like this extra everywhere that you have a void in space Monaco took the time to build a cabinet and to put a countertop. It was very easy for them just to extend the wall here and maybe make that bathroom a little bit bigger than it needed to be. Uh, and it would probably been a whole lot cheaper than building a cabinet and counter space and extra. Well, spe but, yeah, especially this counter space where you have that lip again. So if there's any spills, it's not going to drip down on your cabinets. And But they took the time to do the things that, that make the creature comforts and make living in a coach much, much easier. Yes, sir washer and dryer here again all this is in excellent condition uh you know stackable washer and dryer roll pull style yeah i really like this floor plan Great. with the shower that is a huge shower doug you want you want to show them or you absolutely. want me yeah you... no absolutely let's do it yep i'm definitely a good uh shower tester <laughs> plenty of room for oh, everything you need to do in here andrew that's one of the bigger showers i mean huge very large shower and i like the positioning of it how it's just square you know just plenty of headroom in there and you, and you look at the fan this ain't, we're not looking at a 2020 coach i mean this is an 05 and look how you know good we haven't had a chance to get in here and detail you know, it detail that but i mean that's just what you see i mean how the clean. owner had it yep now this is cool bowl sink back here but we passed by the uh water yep. closet Check there huge water closet Oh yeah, Dometic, a lot of room around the toilet. And then you have another sink here again, that same countertop with the edge there and that same backsplash like we saw. You do have a window that will open as well as the vent with the fan storage above your toilet, close to a foot on each side of your toilet, a lot of room there. Now this rear bedroom is huge with the slide outs out and so smooth at how these slide outs go in and out that same suede on the ceiling just beautiful got a good amount of storage now this is kind of cool to see so rv sources this must be from the previous owner they've got a whole bunch of different forums and just a lot of you know tiffin rv tech i don't know why they would have a tiffin rv tech but um maybe you know maybe a good tiffin guy that could get stuff fixed for them um and then you could take these shelves out as well and use this as wardrobe if you want those are adjustable shelves uh, you do have countertop space on both sides of the bed and this bed sits up real high that looks pretty comfortable yeah actually really it's got a nice foam mat, uh, topper on it uh and i think this would be easily this is a queen bed but i think it would be pretty easy to convert this to a king if you if you wanted to to take the time and energy and money to do that yeah yeah absolutely now a ton of storage here 
And then you have a second area with this super cool bowl sink. A lot of drawer space there, much taller drawer space in that countertop. I love the hamper. I just, something I like about a hamper and a coach. I yeah. I don't know why, I can't explain why I like that. You gotta have somewhere to put your dirty clothes. We all need one of those. I got uh, some dirty laundry. Yes, we? sir, yes, sir, <laughs> true story. Now this countertop, you know, they, they didn't, you're usually not putting drinks and stuff here. So this does not have that little lip, but that just shows how expensive it was on those kitchen countertops that they passed on that here. But, and then a, a window here on both sides. So th those will open up if you want to get a little cross breeze. Absolutely. Beautiful mirrors there in the back of the coach uh, with that style. Now, let's see here. It looks like, oh yeah, cedar. Look how beautiful this closet is. It looks like cedar back there. All the original uh, papers from Monaco lined with that same high-end carpet back here. A little compartment to get to your uh, engine hatch for accessibility. I just really like all the storage in this coach. I, just, I, I, I feel like a broken record, but I mean storage everywhere you look that you utilize, utilize every inch yeah. of this coach to, to yeah, offer storage. Knob there. Here's your breaker panels here. All right, Doug, this coach is a lot of living space, but I'm thinking we need to take it for a test drive. You want to let me test drive this coach? Absolutely, let's do it. Let's roll. All right, so this is the cockpit area here. I'm going to adjust the steering wheel. Uh, it does have the telescopic and tilt steering wheel. There's the gear selector for that Allison transmission. This also has the pedal adjustment, so I can adjust the pedals. You've got your fan, your tag axle dump your aqua hot and engine preheat, as well as your battery booster and the block heater, your mirror selectors, your engine brake, mirror heat, your passenger shades all powered, air brake, HWH leveling controls, Eaton Vorad uh, system, simple air conditioning controls. Looks like it's got the OnStar system fog lights your step cover a lot going on doug you mind being my cameraman absolutely yes sir all right a little reading light right here all right so i'm gonna adjust my steering wheel wood grain steering wheel in great condition we've walked around the coach we're good to go yeah i just finished up okay. an outside check all the doors cool. are tight and everything's good perfect Yeah, after watching that Roadmaster video, I've been wanting to drive one of these with all those 10 airbags and uh, and, and it, the steel, you know, the all steel structure of this chassis. Um, there's some older videos, like some 10 year old videos on YouTube talking about the strength of this chassis. And I can feel it right away. And then of course the Series 60, I've driven a lot of coaches with the Series 60. It definitely is one of the closest coaches I've ever driven to a Prevo as far yeah. as the feel and the you know the, the, the strength and the durability of it yeah if you want to give them a look out the front windshield just a huge front windshield on this coach yeah this is a nice day in Kentucky here even December all right all right I'm gonna hammer down oh yeah it's got plenty of power right away i mean look at how it tracks down the road i'm just using one hand i mean this is super smooth the stability you know there's no lean either way with those 10 airbags and we're going 55 miles an hour and i didn't shut that door good enough Oh, is the door open still? No, I didn't, it's not not pulled. I didn't, it's, pulled, it's one of the slam doors. It's all good. Well, if you can get a close up on the steering wheel here, just to show folks, I mean, how effortless. I'm gonna have one finger on the steering wheel. I mean, what motorhomes can you just drive and this is a lot of equipment. This is a heavy duty motorhome. This isn't like a little light, you know, sprinter van. This has got a lot of equipment to be tracking down the road like this. Doug, th 
this is this is probably the nicest driving production coach. I know I'm very loyal to Country Coach of this era, but I've got to say I think this even drives better than a top of the line Country Coach Magna of this era. What do you think? Well, I, I have never driven a Magna, but I've got one up my sleeve that's on its way that uh, okay. I hope to have, and I'm actually going to go pick it up uh, a few hundred miles from here. I'm excited to get a hold of that coach, but this one here, I'm agreeing with you. This is as nice, as close to a Prevo as I've ever driven, uh, for sure. Yeah, and, and those of you complaining about me being in the left lane, we're turning right here. So I know everyone, uh, we have a lot of backseat drivers in the comments section. So we are turning into 127 Automart. Now I wanna, ha I wanna have Doug drive the coach, and I'm gonna show you what it's like with the slide outs in going down the road and then i think we need to sit down and talk money on this coach because it's a great opportunity for someone plug it in and this is so smooth going down the road so i'm going to show the folks what it's like in the back of the coach here and these are bumpy roads in kentucky here but this is this is sitting on the couch and that big series 60s going here, Doug's going up a hill right now. You can get to the kitchen, no problem. I think this, this table might extend or... Plenty of room in your bathroom area. Series 60. So smooth too. We're going around. Doug just had to switch lanes there. We're gonna make a turn here in a minute, but just incredibly I mean I don't know this is even a step up from the country coaches of this era I feel like I mean this is the top of the top for Monaco this has the same semi monocoque chassis uh, it's the Monaco S series uh, chassis by uh, Mountain Roadmaster Roadmaster yeah but it's the same idea I mean I think it's they, you know, they're, they're building a very similar style chassis, semi monocoque, all steel construction, built like, and it, they do something even better than Country Coach did. They put the airbags, 10 airbags, yeah. like on each corner, and it just really makes a stay super stable ride. This is incredible. This is my first opportunity to drive and ride in a Monaco signature. This was the Cat's Meow back in 05, and what an incredible opportunity. Doug, I say we go into your office and talk some money on this coach. Let's what do you it. say? How much dough do you need? Uh, this coach is going to be extremely well priced for what it what it is and what's been done to it at one sixty nine nine ninety nine. Uh, and if you're interested in it, you need to immediately reach out to me. I do have a deal working on this coach that looks solid, but I mean, you never know. Can you take trades? Yeah, I tell you, I love trades. We actually give pr high preference to somebody with a trade in on this coach and absolutely we can get financing now it's an 05 so the financing is a little bit limited i'm limited to 180 months and a cap of 125 thousand dollars so you're going to need a trade-in with some good equity or some good cash down to make about this fifty thousand down fifty thousand what down. do you think payments are looking like roughly give or take and i know it's based on credit and financials absolutely. well you know you know i think it, that's good information to, to give out to to get to your uh your viewers is, is payment so Let's go inside and, and talk some payments. All right, Andrew. So you want to know about payments? Uh, you know, let's let's talk about this. Um, can you see the screen? Okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, so if, if we're talking about we're talking about the 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 Monaco here, let's let's just do a mock mock up deal here. Okay. Yeah. So we got a coach at one hundred sixty nine nine ninety five. All right. We're yes, gonna sir. do. Uh, we got uh, let's let's just say there's this is a deal with no trade in, yep. no payoff, and we're gonna do fifty thousand dollars down. Okay. All right. Uh, we can get 180 months. Oops. And probably 5.69 percent interest. Now, with good credit. With good credit. Depending on you know the state you live in, but if you lived in Kentucky, I'm just going to use Kentucky because that's you know where we're at. Six percent interest rate. Six um, percent so, sales tax. So yeah, six percent sales tax. Uh, so ten thousand two hundred bucks essentially in tax. So you'd be looking at a payment of a thousand and eighty bucks with fifty thousand dollars down on that particular coach. Thousand bucks a month and this 
flagship Monaco. Yeah, and you, and that would put us a little bit over the amount to finance of of one hundred twenty five thousand. So we would actually probably need let's we would need about fifty six thousand dollars down to make that deal happen at about a thousand and thirty dollars a month. So I mean, really and truthfully, for that coach on one hundred eighty months, a thousand bucks that's you know that's that's actually very reasonable. If someone's ready to step up. How can they get a hold of yeah, you? Just get, check out our website. There's a couple different ways you can get a hold of us. You can call me directly on my cell phone. It's the best and quickest way. But if you're not ready to talk to me or on, on, on my cell phone, you can check out our website at 127automart.com. That's 127automart.com. And also, we got a new website coming. I've already bought the domain name, and we got a new website coming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but What's your cell phone number? 859-613-2574. So we'd love to talk to you about a deal. You can check out the website. All of our information is on our website, Andrew, at 127automart.com. Doug, greatly appreciate you. Thank you for showing us this beautiful Monaco coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you all. Have a wonderful and blessed day.